When I was in Berlin, I caught up with Tyree Cooper, a legend and one of the pioneers of hip house sound from Chicago. Hey, yo, what's up? This is Tyree Cooper in Berlin at Oi Records, kicking it, video blogger, my man Harris in the building. You know how we do. But Ty, how do you compare Chicago and Berlin? I've been in Berlin since 2000. The Chicago that I remember, yeah, for sure, I miss it. Berlin has been a fun place too. <laughs> Trust me, I had a lot of fun in this place. Here in Berlin, it never sleeps like in New York. It stays open 24 hours a day. Somebody told me once that Chicago actually isn't the cradle of house music. Have you lost your fucking mind? Yeah, Chicago created house music. Okay, so how did you get into house music? Hugo H, probably the best DJ in Chicago that's not out right now, told me he knew how to DJ, so I said, yeah, okay, right. I had to think about, wait, my mother isn't gonna listen to this. We did school, we went to his house, and he showed me how to DJ, and from that moment on, I was stuck. Told me one day he gonna take me to a real party, so he took me to the playground where Farley Jack Master Funk, or Farley Funk and Keith at that time was playing. That was my introduction to the house culture, the house scene. In 84, when Jesse Sanders brought the the first record, the house sound of the house music came to the forefront because now the records are being produced from the culture. So now you got the house scene. Since about 1980, I've been into this culture until Jesse Saunders put out On and On. I've been in the house music since, from day one. I'm house, then house. <laughs> and how did you get into DJing? I was playing basketball in high school. I knew I wasn't going to no NBA. That shit was out. I went to college to play and just quit 100%. You go home, your mother give you ultimatums. What you gonna do with your life? I told her I was gonna be a DJ. She said, okay, either get a job, go to the service, or be the best DJ possible. So I stuck with being a DJ. I just stuck with music, and it never let me down. From DJing, it took me to make records. It took me to Europe, discovery of subgenres of house music, deep house, hip house, acid house. From a person that didn't like music at first, when I was in high school, to house music is my life. Now, when we talk about hip house, is it still around? And who is it for? Who listens to hip house? It ain't never that, they just don't call it hip house. Generation X, Generation Y, Generation Z, millennials, hipsters, hip house is for everybody. When you're selling the records to the masses, they don't want the, the soulful attachment to it like what happened with house music. It was too black for white America, so they changed it to dance music. Hip hop was too black for white America, so they changed it to rap. When Lady Gaga put out Poker Face and it's a house record, they go, that's not a house record. The fuck if it ain't? She won awards with a house record. The way they put it together is not their typical way of looking at house because they're so used to the underground. But take out the underground, put it in the pop, and it's a pop house record. The whole world is living house music, EDM included. So you were there from day one. How was the scene in the beginning? The scene was brand new, so everyone was still trying to find their individuality within the scene. No one sounded the same, it was so vast. You go downtown, you hear Ron Hardy. You go near the projects on the north side, you hear Frankie Knuckles. Air, she was everywhere. It just wasn't on the radio, like 24 hours, outside of the Hot Mix 5. Brop, brop, I'm bigging myself up all the time. Now, is this cool, or shall I go back to school? The sincerity always comes through. You don't have to talk about how much you got, what you got, it always shows through. Real bad boys move in silence. Anytime you're around a bunch of people and the one that's doing all the talking, he's probably the coward. Now, if you're doing it in lyrical form, that's part of the game. But if you're doing it, big yourself up because you're lacking in certain areas, that's a trait that you're missing inside yourself. That's something that you're lacking in your self-confidence. As long as they don't take it too far to try to kill each other and have this nonsense beef, white rappers acting to be black and black rappers acting to be white. Some young kid saw it in a video 20 years ago. Now he's had the chance to act it out in real life. What do you think he's gonna do? For that culture that's watching these young black men rebel against law or rebel against anybody to have a certain kind of respect. House, house, hip, hip, hippie house. Now, what is this all about? Hip -hop is always a cross between house and hip hop. You had to have serious lyrics. It was about keeping the party moving and keeping the dance floor packed and keeping them interested in what you're saying so they can move along with you, they can groove along with you. It's not too many people doing it because they're so accustomed to the different genres of rap style that they heard. Trap, down south, conscious, LA style rap. So many different formats. So the young audience are accustomed to hearing that person that they know or that dialect that they know. It's all, oh, yeah, it's cool, but it sounds kind of old school because the format seems the same. And they get used to hearing rappers that don't really rhyme, don't even make sense. They just mumble as opposed to articulation, enunciation, diction. If I listen to hip hop, it's more 
classic hip hop or a specific rapper. Now Ty, tell me about house music. The whole thing about house music was to express yourself, express you. That's what house music means. That's the culture of house. Big room music, jazz, R&B, soul, all that shit is in house music. That shit's been infused in house since day one, since the first time the person touched the keys in a drum machine. Before house music, there was no drum and bass. There was no trance. There was no ambient. There was no trip hop. There was no anything other than that. Since house came to an existence, the rest of the world, everything has derived from that. Trance, ambient, trip hop, drum and bass, jungle, two-step, speed garage. It's all the child of house music. Now, if somebody uses somebody else to make music for them and say to the world, this is my music, is this really cool? If it's a ghost producer, then it's definitely not their work. <laughs> a DJ gotta learn how to use his own equipment. You know, spend time in the studio working. If you make money with a ghostwriter, then fine, fuck it, do it with a ghostwriter. You gotta be able to judge that at the end of the day. Cause when the ghostwriter leaves, when he feel like he ain't had enough or she had enough, then your career is over. So when you dig through the records, what are you looking for? DJ, we look for the popular, we look for the unpopular, and we look for the diamond in the tracks. So we in the record store now, right? I'm looking for, oh yeah, I got this. Oh, what is this? Oh, I ain't never seen this. This is the kind of records I'm looking for. I'm looking for the records that no one has got yet. Or we used to say back in the day, I'm trying to break a record. I look for records to be broken. So tape, vinyl, CD, MP3, WAV, AIFF. Production has to come first. Whether you put that production on physical format, vinyl or CD, or digital format, it depends on what you want to take out of it. Vinyl is cool, digital is cool, CD is cool, all that shit is cool. You can't force another motherfucker because he's using digital and you like vinyl to make a motherfucker like vinyl. There's complications with vinyl. You get that, that hum, the art gain feedback from the needle or the turntable too close to a speaker. That doesn't sound good in the party. Or digital, you get your files corrupted. You get that that nasty in your song. That's not good. So CD skip. So it don't matter the format as long as the record is fucking good. Is it hard for a DJ or a producer or a musician if they have a family and they are away for a long period of time? I have a family, so yeah, I try to be at home more. You know, I have a daughter, I have a wife, I have an older daughter too. What up, Rini? Hey, Feeny. Hi, Shortcake. That's my my youngest daughter. So when they say go, Daddy said something about me. Hey, Daddy. That's my oldest daughter. I try to stay home as much as possible. But then again, I try to be the fuck out the house as much as possible. And my family's very supportive. I wouldn't have it any other way. I couldn't have my wife not be supportive of what I do. Now listen to me carefully, as I will say this only once. Is it what you know and how well you do it, or who you know and how well you connect? Uh, is it what you do or how well you do it, or who you know? It don't matter how good you are, it depends on your complexion, for your protection, for the collection. You can be good. It's a lot of brothers out here good, but it depends on how well you know where you're going is going to get you in. Look at the top 10, the top 20, 30 DJ list. Who do you see? You only see the complexion for the protection for the collection. On one side, you have DJs and producers and production, and on another side, you have composers and composition. How do they compare? I just generally like when DJs produce records. Sometimes it sounds like crap. I ask what DJs are. Sometimes we don't have great ideas, but sometimes we have some fucking bang on ideas and that shit just work. You know, sometimes we get a bit lucky, we can play three chords and it sound beautiful with a bass line that fits. Sometimes we play a bass line and the chords don't match, but it's a great fucking record. We get lucky like that. Now music is what we love, but do we do music for the love or for the money? You gotta make it for love, but you gotta figure out how you can eat with love. <laughs> Oh, you gotta have love in the story. Love and fun. You can't do this shit having hate in your heart. You gotta have love. Love kicks it off. First of all, you gotta love yourself. Once you learn how to love yourself, or we learn to love yourself, then this music is a piece of piss. That's the second thing. Don't make it a job. Make it fun. Music should be fun. It should be happy. It should be jovial. It should be a jovial occasion. Be jubilant all the time when you're making the record because you want to make something as goofy as in your head thinking to come out to what people That's not goofy. That sound, that sounds good. But your head's like, for real? That just sound goofy to me. But that's your inside, the harmonious side of you making music. You know, when you are one with yourself. What is love? Love is something you put a lot of emotion behind. That doesn't definitely mean it's true. You put a lot of emotion behind money, so money is worth everything. If you put no emotion behind money, money wouldn't worth shit. So if you put a lot of emotion behind love, love means a lot. If you put no emotion behind it, the love ain't shit. So it has to come from within. 
Because if you can't buy it, you can't lick it, you can't taste it. Now, Ty, I know you can rap, so can you give us some lines? I guess I got kicked the linguistics to show you this thing here, materialistic. I'm quick like biscuits, sound like doses. Tyreek Cooper kicking the real flow, so yo. I guess I got to rip a little style for Man Harris now to make it say wow. So tonight's the night, I'ma rip shit apart. Show you my art so I kick start to rhythms and melodies. Might wanna fuck me with the baddest individuals born in any century. Now you get with me, see. Play the receiver, see. I'm an achiever. Others I disbelieve. I smoke more reefer and think more deep than the other cats. Now tell me how you like that. Now I really hope you've enjoyed this video with Tyreek Cooper. So until next time, have have a good one.